you know, we, a lot of Kendrick and Drake talk, you know what I'm saying, as as it should be. A lot of outlets with opinions, as it should be. The declaration from the Rolling Stone that Kendrick won and it's over didn't sit right with me, and I want to hit Rolling Stone with a button. That sounds like this. Congratulations. You played yourself. Who are you? <laughs> Who's the writer? No, no, no. As, a, as an outlet, mm. when did you become the the arbiter of all things hip hop? Facts. Well, particularly now, when I like every magazine has been stripped down of their staff and like yeah, like when you was really a magazine, you didn't really give a damn about hip hop like that. I've seen your lists, I've seen your you know we pay attention, we see what you did and didn't do, but now that you're basically an online IG magazine. And you need clicks. You're gonna declare that this is o- this is over. Say, mm-hmm. who are you? Hold this button. Congratulations, you played yourself. Now it's getting the clicks and doing the business that you intended it to do. So right. you know, Nothing. there it is for that. But I don't know. It didn't sit right with me, and I need to hit you with the button because I'm not even sure that you played yourself. Uh, even even people who have lived and breathed this hip hop thing, I don't know if anybody has declared it over. People have said things like it should be over. Right. right. People have said like things it. like it feels like it's over. But nobody's declared. No, no. How could you declare? It's between know. Drake and Kendrick. <laughs> right. We don't know. <laughs> We're not in it. Kendrick right. might drop today. Drake or, might drop today. Or Drake. We don't uh, know. History would suggest. Uh, Drake doesn't let stuff go too easy. Oh, but no. His, He's his never history, letting it go. Let go. No, but history would suggest that when he takes the knockout punch, he might just walk away. Push uh, a team. Push a team. He away. He did. He, just, he said, ow, well, ow, he, he, ow. He I'm going to go. But he never stopped. That's the, no, that's, that's the true. Point. Well, I think that's what everybody... So it's never... It, it, Right. This this version of their battle might be over, I guess, or concluded. This chapter, whatever, however you, or this round, however you want to call it. But nah, they're gonna be taking shots forever until they make up. If unless they come to some terms and like actually start getting along, is there a world in a in in the version of their careers where they do a Jay Z and Nas get on stage together, do a couple of records together? I don't fit- know, and it would be years from now. <laughs> I think it may have crossed the line. I, I remember I asked yesterday, did it cross the yeah. line? If so, when? I feel like over the last couple, I think that here's the problem. The pedophile stuff. The reason you may not even hear from Drake again. I, I heard from a very smart person who who works in the in the sports and entertainment industry okay. who reached out to me and was like, you may not hear from Drake again because that pedophile stuff might have gotten so loud and bad that people he makes money with in other fields may have said, hey, this is not a stink we want. We need to wrap this thing up. Your your Nikes, and your when, NHLs, when, when, what, your what NBAs. Saying, well, what you're saying is when uh, we may not hear from him again on this topic. On this battle, period. Yeah, that's what I meant. On this right, battle, yeah, like this like, battle, we'll hear got... from him musically. Oh, 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 of course. But they were like, yeah. "Hey, the game you're doing, the whole thing, we saw it, and it was fine. And now we, you have a guy who we're associated with who's being called a pedophile repeatedly. And now there are people putting together whole Twitter threads. Like it's it's all uncomfortable. We don't like it. Well, not. And then you factor in Metro Boomin with the BBL Drizzy and. and People all over the world making their own versions of dip. moms. You have moms and Bro. dads submitting songs. Bro, I was. It's a tr- it's a TikTok today. trend to make a oh make gosh. a Drake diss record right now. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I couldn't believe it. And now he got money. Put it in the chat. And, I couldn't believe it. And now he got money up instead of just a beat. Now you get ten grand and a beat. Oh god! Wow. So, you get, so you get ten grand and a beat and oh. second place wow. and second. That is second place. Second place gets a beat too. Oh wow! When Metro wins, everybody wins? Is that what we're doing? That's, that's what so. it kind of feels like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, is a, this is a tough spot. I don't know. And then here's what, my question. Is, wow. is, if Drake doesn't do another one, if Drake just let you, the one from Sunday night be it, right. would Kendrick really say more? Or is Kendrick like, there's no need to say more? He's waving the white flag. I, yeah, I have no idea. But I, if he doesn't say more, guess what is going to keep saying what it's saying? Play the song. They're not like us? Bad. What? Bad. Well, that's either way. Well, but this has all the pedophilia stuff in it. Must have hung a beat. Deep boat in wreck. 
He a free throw man. Hold up, we're gonna get to that in a second. But the other part is, is this is going to y'all realize that this is gonna be a hit song. I predict, and I hope I'm wrong. Drake is so important to Universal Music Group as an artist. Kendrick is also through Interscope through Universal Music Group. It will be interesting to see if someone tries to stand in the way of this being a actual single for Kendrick Lamar. I wonder if he would want to do that as a single. No, 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 no. I, I've already been I've already been texted by record folks like, yo, which single do you guys think it should be? Euphoria or are they not like us? Same. And and, oh. and and I was like, I can't yeah. pick. They're very different. The response was, I think we're going to go with both. Oh. Like, well, these are actual corrected. songs that Kendrick is... These might, it might be on his album. It might end up on the album. Mm. Well, if they get big enough, right, then how, yeah. do, you, how do you not? Laura, what you got to... Well, uh, all of this says, yo, Drake, you, yeah. you need a button... Uh, Anybody, Drake stands who still think Drake won this thing or is winning this thing, you get a button. Congratulations. You played yourself. I was saying about an hour ago, I was talking to people in L.A. I have people who live in Inglewood and who are L.A. natives said that this song has united Los Angeles like they haven't seen in at least 10 years. Wow, that's how we feel about it? <laughs> I mean, that's a big deal. It is. They've been trying to get them gangs to unite yo, if, for how and, long? And this song did it? Yo, neighborhoods, the Mexican homies, the Asian homies, everybody. It's, this is the song in L.A. A reminder also to my original congrats to Drake when he was taunting Kendrick about getting in. Like, where are you? Ooh, where are you? I was like, ah. Well, and, and, and the people I was talking to have, and multiple people, by the way, said that they felt like Drake's antics, the Tupac, the using Snoop AI, was disrespectful to the West Coast. Like, they felt like y'all, they were being played with like they were just going to lay down. I mean, I can see that. At which I responded and was like, guys, really? Like, this, is, this isn't really your thing. But yeah, okay, I mean, we're since we're living in fantasy land, I do understand why this would be offensive. For sure. In real life, I mean, how old are you? What are we talking about? But I uh, yes, I also hear it you. It is but it is a, but it is a culture that, you know, that California LA culture is about representing yourself, representing your neighborhood and standing for what that's the 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 some of the basis right. of the whole thing for generations. I mean, listen, I, th I thought the AI Tupac thing was insane the second I heard it. I was like, this level of disrespect is crazy. This isn't sampling. This isn't referencing. Right. You're literally sticking your hand up his back like a like a ventriloquist. Well, not only that, but you're using Pac to go at somebody from L.A. Well, and someone who, yeah, man, this sounds bad. like we're beating up Drake bad. But, but and if we're being honest, it's the button. someone who you know sort of culturally would align a lot more with Kendrick. Right. I mean, I'm sorry. That's just culturally, in terms of what Kendrick talks about, it's sort of a lot of the essence of a lot of Pac's beliefs are in there. Right. You know what I mean? Pac represents the black nationalist movement. Like, that's a real thing. Like, Pac wouldn't have loved that to pimp a butterfly album. He wasn't rocking that in heaven. He didn't have Black or the Berry playing. So you know, it's a it's it's a it's a button. That's what it is. It's a you played yourself. It is a congratulations. You played yourself. Currently, oh, and then also, if you think Drake's gonna go away now because of losing this battle, I have a oh, button yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations, right. you played yourself. He's not going anywhere. Now here's a debate I, I was having with uh, another group of individuals. Has Drake lost the streets? Can he can he still jump on the hottest street record with? whomever new artist or an act from LA and it still feel as authentic and the same at this point I think a little time is gonna go by people are gonna forget and Drake is gonna come out with some bangers and everybody's just gonna be like everything's awesome yeah I mean people are gonna forget and not care well also I don't think that a lot of people care like the, the acts I don't know if you've noticed guys the artists who get hot these days who Drake would do a record with most of them are not how will I put it um street 
not even about street, but like culturally informed, like paying attention to this or understanding of like they're not going to care. Drake's hot. You think sexy red is drawing a line in the sand? Sorry, I don't think so. Right. Where's the bag, bro? Oh, is he the hot one? Who's nah. So in that sense, I don't think he may have lost it with he. He lost it with the people he already really didn't have it with in the first place. You see Shawnee bopping every time Not Like Us comes on. He didn't have Shawnee to start out with. That's facts. <laughs> <laughs> That's facts. So. Nah, I mean, yeah, right. The the street, 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 as you said it, nah, he never had it. So he lost them yeah. in some respects. He's never going to lose the ladies that are in the street. So the sexy guys, like you said, he's going to have them forever. Ladies on the block going to rock with no, If the music sound right, he got them. The yeah. good. But it's yeah. always sounded yeah. good for every. I mean, I don't, unless this gets in his head and he goes into a spiral where the next song he puts out, it's like an SNL skit. Everyone's like, what is? It's like a Lonely Island song. And everyone's like, what is this? It's like, Ja, Rastafarianism. And then everyone's like, wait, what happened, Drake? He forgot how to do his accents. He's just like, it's me, Drake. I'm here to say. And everyone's like, oh, no. Jersey, what happened? Kendrick knocked the, knocked the sound out of him. Yo, Kendrick knocked out the uh, the act out of him, right? Yo. Yo, Laura, what you got today? Uh, Shani and I were discussing this video that, that went viral. So there was a church service in Pennsylvania that was interrupted by a man who pulled out a gun and attempted to shoot the pastor. And the whole thing was being live-streamed. Yeah. Bro, as he tries to want. shoot the pastor, the gun jams. Mm. And, and the way that he gets tackled down to the floor, like, the guy didn't even care, right, Shotty? He was yeah. just, like, holding the gun and just yeah. kind of like, rip it do oh, <laughs> It definitely was. We'll rip it do oh. But it's cool. Yo, bro, just walked up, pointing the gun. Mm-hmm. I thought it was over. I thought and it was over, guys. the pastor said that uh, when he was doing his uh, sermon, whatever, he looked in the guy's eyes, saw him pick up the gun, and the guy just smiled at him. So he's clearly a little loose, and then somebody tackled him, and when you see how he gets tackled, he just goes along with it. There's zero resistance. So wait, he wanted to go to jail? Like, what That's what we... it looked like to me. He was looking to get arrested in that moment. There, listen, I, the, there's a quote that he says that God told him to do it. And that going, going to jail would All clear right. his mind. Mm. And then afterwards, police searched his home and found a dead body. So, Yo. The whole thing. Wait. Yeah. Whoa. That took a turn. Wow. Listen. Yep. The whole thing deserves a button. But isn't it crazy? You're watching something on live stream. You played yourself. A church service. And all of a sudden, a guy just shows up with a gun attempting to murder and the gun jams. Yo, it's crazy. Well, I don't even know if this fits in. Congrats. It's so crazy. Right. It's crazy. He gets more than uh, a button. Yeah, he's waiting, getting waiting, life waiting. in jail. Congratulations. Which is what he wanted. Yourself. Seems like. Rosenberg, you got anything to wrap this up on today? <laughs> uh, I was going to give it to the referee in the Knicks game. Uh, if you didn't see the end of the Knicks game, shout out to the Knicks. They got a big win. Well, I mean, they, two things. I mean, one, they called a kick ball on Indiana that the replay showed was decidedly not a kick ball. It was the hand. And, like, it was a monster possession at the end of the game that kept the ball with the Knicks instead of the ball going to Indiana. And then when Indiana did get the ball, they called a moving screen to give the Knicks the ball back. That's right. I'm not complaining. I'm happy the Knicks won. But that refing at the end of that game was ripped. The moving screen was a reach. The kick ball was like, wait. It was a hand. And you can't review it. They're like, oh, you can't review a kickball. So they show the replay. You see it's clearly someone's hand, and there's nothing they can do about it. They just gave the Knicks the ball. I mean, you could, we could all be happy about it, but still hit the rest with this button. Congratulations. You played yourself.